Okay, so my name is Rui Quinta. I'm a founder of With Company. Uh, we are a strategic design consultant, consultancy based in Lisbon. And now I'm in Paris to talk about Lisbon. But I will start with this little sentence over here. Uh, I don't know if you guys, like, I don't have one hand, like, do you like this? Do you like to read this? Do you, do you, don't, you don't like to read this? Or the next one, this one, Paris is the next Silicon Valley. How does this feel? Like, for me, yeah, not so good, right? Not so good, because, because it messes with our sense of identity. I'm not from here, but I can imagine what you can feel when I show these slides, because we feel the same thing in Lisbon. So I'm going to tell you a little story about what happened in Lisbon in the last seven years. So a lot of the press, every time that someone would say or state that Lisbon was going to be the next Silicon Valley, actually, we have, you know, we have the bridge that looks like San Francisco, so we have a few characteristics that makes us really, really similar to them in a way, but come on, it doesn't make any sense. So, but, but still, in the last six or seven years, a lot of people were talking about it, especially in the press, and then you know, the community of entrepreneurs would take that and would, you know, would share it and would talk about that as a, a, super, a super interesting thing, which is not so good, but in, in, a, in another way, it expresses a certain sense of emancipation. So people were starting to feel proud you know, to be considered uh, by other, other people around the world um, into looking at Lisbon as a really interesting city to build a company or to build a startup. So basically what happened at this stage was that the, um, the city of Lisbon, the city council, uh, talked to us uh, for us to help them build a project or a branding project. And the challenge was uh, how might we create a brand and a digital place for the community of Lisbon-based innovators by involving and making them take part in the design process. And this is the challenging thing, which is, you know, taking the community with us um, for about a year into building this new brand that could represent the community of, uh, of entrepreneurs of the city of Lisbon. So we had to start somewhere, and we call this project uh, Define Lisboa because we didn't know what we will end up getting in the end. We just wanted you know, to state that we were unique and that we had some differences from the other countries or the other cities around the world. So how to start? So basically what we did was this. So we did a really small, you know, that, that page called Define Lisboa, Define Lisbon, was online. And basically we created this platform or this mini website that had a lot of exercises along the way. And the first one was just, you know, shooting these sentences in a very provocative way. One thing is to hear this from the press. Another thing is to hear this from a company who's working with the city of Lisbon and that is stating that the city of Lisbon is going to be the next Berlin or the new Silicon Valley. So we knew that people were, were going to rage against us. And they seriously did. Like we got so many you know, infuriated messages like saying, you guys are ridiculous. And we knew that, we knew it because we did it on purpose. So basically why we did it, because we wanted to provoke people in the first moment. So that we want, so this basically means that we wanted to bring them along with us in this journey. So we had to, you know, to get some awareness from them. So we had to make some noise at the beginning to provoke them. And then, you know, we got, we started getting some answers. Like they started talking to us, you know, they, they, we, give, we did a few exercises in this digital platform uh, where they could invest. We had a, a series of cities like London, Berlin, or Paris, or Silicon Valley, and they could vote, they could attribute money to the city they liked the most. You know, they pitched online, like they had 30 seconds to pitch about their own city, the city of Lisbon, and they would send us videos, you know, explaining why Lisbon is the best city in the world at least for us, in our own way, in a way. And, you know, they draw, like they help us find this new brand. So they, they would send us drawings about what they would imagine has, you know, like the representation or the graphic representation for the city of Lisbon. They would color pick like the best color that would represent the city and the entrepreneurial spirit. They would vote and then in the end they would prioritize the features that they wanted for that specific digital place that we also had to to have in the end. So despite the branding part, we had to create a digital place for the community. So they would help us, you know, validate and vote for the best features in this, uh, in this platform. So we also, so we call this, uh, you, can, you can see it in the end, but we call this digital participatory design tool, which basically was um, a research tool, a digital research tool that went with us from the beginning till the end. So we added also participatory design actions, which means that 
we were outside talking to people, relating with them, talking to them, engaging them. You know, we did events, design sprints with several teams, uh, workshops, meetups, and public presentations where we explained everybody along the way what we were doing in that process of, of designing the, the, um, this. Okay, can you go back and turn on the sound, please? Is it possible? I can make sound like a... Okay, thank you. Can Lisbon you is the new Silicon Valley. Stop the madness. Well, what a rough start. Mess with Lisbon's entrepreneurial ecosystem, and that's what happens. They stand up for it, unite, swear a lot, and make things clear. They want to feel authentic. Lisbon is the new Lisbon. Sounds better. But what does that actually mean? We went out to find out, to define Lisboa, to problem solve it. We talked with the local startup crowd, born or made in Lisbon. Co-workers, with Miguel, who runs one of the first incubators in town, and also with investors, creatives, makers and students. We even talked with journalists and with Pedro, who's now in London. Boo! All in all, we did more than 60 interviews. We took part in five different events. Break! Okay, let's make a tour. We're going up and down and up and down. Mm, that way, here, there You've been and in Lisbon, right? here too. What a ride! Moving forward, we checked out other startup cities around the world. Barcelona, Tel Aviv, many, many others. And Lisbon. Ouch! Like human-centered design freaks do, we designed user personas. You know, like the knower, the wise-knowing geek, to the pusher, the one who likes to push. We've set up multidisciplinary teams for some super design sprints with super results. And we did a lot of framing and reframing, thinking and rethinking, mapping and mind mapping, to better understand how the ecosystem works. From the qualitative to the quantitative. How? We asked the community to pitch Lisbon to us online. We gave them the possibility to invest. Finally, we asked them to pick up the tools they needed the most. And Pumba! Organize, connect, attract and inform the community in the digital space, in a digital platform. We got the hooks, now we need the looks. Okay, so no matter how much we ask people to pick an emoji, pick a color, or to draw their vision of this new Lisbon, they would always end up showing us how the beauty of their designs, the vision of their business, the residence of their spaces, the things makers made, the code behind coders, the drive of those going up and down startups. All of this was made of the influence of the city itself, of how it shapes us and how we shape it back, of how this incredible Lisboa is not just a random place to work like hell, but to work and live fully, gracefully, like people should. We created this together. We designed a brand like Lisbon. We produced a future space made of Lisboa. Okay, so more than... Can you skip to the next slide? Okay, so more than... Next slide. I'm almost done. It's a minute. So it's more than... than it's not just a logo. It's an identity. It's a way of talking, a way of expressing ourselves, of communicating with people the ones who are joining Lisbon and the ones who are already there for a long time, but it's also you know, creating a digital space made to ever last. It means that we are not taking care of the project now, but the ones who are taking care of the project can add to this platform or to this digital space that we created. So I'm going to show you 40 seconds of this video and I'll end uh, after that, which basically shows a little bit of, you know, of the work we did at the beginning for the digital space. Sound.
Okay, so to finish, Paris et le nouveau Paris. <laughs> uh, if you want to know more about the project and the process and the methodologies that we used, go to witcities.com. If you want to know more about us, um, follow us. Okay, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much. Merci. Thank you.